Hello guys and welcome back. So we're early July now. Um so well so far it's been good weather, but I don't know um what the rest of the month's gonna bring. Is that a chicken chasing a duck? Anyway, um so yeah, a couple things have happened. Uh no tractor work or anything today. Although I have some good news. Uh don't want to show it yet, but the wheat has, well, fully grown now. Um, it is ready to harvest. Same with the field over there, which is excellent news. There is a but. They will not be harvesting this month. Now, I would like to realistically, early August, I would like to harvest, harvest this. So I'm going to give it an extra month, and I'm hoping it's not going to wither away. It shouldn't do. I'm just going to give it a bit of extra growth, because it looks this colour, but it might be able to grow a bit more. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, so it's kind of pressure on now to make sure we've got good weather to keep the wheat going. And to find somewhere to keep the wheat. Because obviously it's easy just to sell some of it. But I don't know what I'm going to do with the other field. I don't even know where to leave it. Do I leave it in the trailer? Probably the best option. Sheet it up. Uh, yeah, probably the best option there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably will have to. I don't think... Uh, no, the marshal doesn't have a sheet. I know you can get it on it, so I just have to pay some extra money. You can see the little hooks there where the straps are supposed to go on, and that keeps it the sheet on. So I'll have to get a dealership and see if they can get me a sheet or put a sheet on it. Um, probably be a couple hundred quid, um, but it's worth it if it keeps it growing dry. Uh, also here we have a bit of a. Now this wasn't here before. Uh, we've got some scrap I found around the yard, uh, about around the farm. Uh, so I've got some tyres, an old wheelbarrow, probably get rid of that, because uh, it's, I don't know if you can see, but the wheel is quite rusty, the axle of it anyway, and it doesn't move properly, so I had to lift it. Um, I don't really need a wheelbarrow, um, and that's more for like sort of horses or a dairy farm kind of thing. Uh, and we've got a sack of, I think it's just old, um, small chicken feed bags kind of thing, that kind of size, like the small ones you can carry on your shoulder, I think it's just a bunch of them rubbish in one, um, so that can just go off, uh, found this empty barrel, so that could be used potentially, uh, found another pallet, uh, this is actually a fuel barrel, uh, that's just, I don't even know what's in that, I don't think it's empty, uh, but this is normally used for water or fuel, uh, you can get a little a uh, nozzle thing, and that'll be for fuel, and then you've got a generator there, it is broken, um, I have tried starting it, but yeah, so uh, we'll probably have a skip uh, or something, and we'll see what we can do with these, these two tyres could technically be used for the pit, so I'll keep these and the cone just in case we need to block anything off in the yard or whatever, uh, fuel barrels will definitely stay, pallet will probably stay, uh, but the sack there, the wheelbarrow, and the generator definitely going, um, uh, yeah, that's basically, um, all I found for now, just roaming edges of fields and stuff on the quad. Uh, the barrel, um, I just rolled down the field. Um, so, that worked. Oh. And then in the sheep field, uh, they're all happy there. Um, I've been on the lawnmower, and I got rid of these, uh, leaves here. Um, so it's just a patch. Um, but it's... All those big leaves, I don't know what they are, I don't even know if they're good for the sheep. Um, but I just got rid of them just in case they weren't good for the ground as well. Uh, so, that's why there's a massive patch here, so I'll just wait for that to regrow. I'm not sure why they are here. Uh, if they are bad for the sheep in the ground or the farm, or I don't even know what they are really. Um, but the sheep don't tend to grow up here, so it doesn't matter about these. Uh, but I don't even know what they are. Uh, but as long as the sheep don't, don't go near them, they should be fine. 
but you do tend to see the sheep go down here and it looks a bit messy when you come into the farm just looks a bit bit overgrown uh i guess um also there is a patch here because that was uh, when i first moved there was like a creep feeder and i didn't need that so i got rid of that um yeah so skid steer um i've been thinking for a while to get some pallet forks for this but i just haven't um found any um i'd like to get it in the the sort of green the john day green to match the bucket and you can only get them in black so i don't know if i will end up getting them um for now uh tyler's roaming the farm somewhere uh, his dog house is still there uh, we'll just hop on the quad um we're using this a lot um now we're just checking the fields and stuff so if we head down here we have the field we mowed for first cut pit silage which we got a lot of grass off i think it was two and a half loads three and a half loads of a small uh, single axle uh forage wagon which wasn't bad um as you can see it's really growing it's got all these weeds in it um but those weeds tend to go anyway they don't really affect it um they don't tend to affect the grass as much as it does the wheat i'm still stuck on this field um there is also a problem with uh, this field in particular it's not flat at all um so the troughs could easily topple over or be blown over um i'll say they'd be blown over on um if it was fully flat but you know they could just hit a wall or something um and i'd like it to be perfectly flat because um you see when i put the uh sheep troughs uh when they were when i came to the farm you might have seen near the wall it's just a massive dip um i don't know what happened there um but whoever placed the troughs uh, they've probably had an issue or something um, and I don't want a massive dip in the field uh, you, as you can see it's already a dip there in the fence um, where this sort of stream is or river but this bit's quite flat it gets this is like the flattest it gets here from about here to about here so yeah it's a bit bit of a weird uh, bit of a weird one uh, also the uh, field we did for first cut uh, bales, uh, we will be doing that soon, probably in the next vlog, uh, yeah, probably will, so probably won't bore you to death with the sort of whole vlog of just being mowing and raking, I'm going to do one vlog but I'm going to add some clips of each uh, thing we do so wrap in stuff like that but as you can see this is growing back a lot quicker than uh, that field so obviously it was cut first so it makes sense but yeah it's, uh, hopefully in the next vlog so in a couple days we should be able to get uh, that field mowed and then we'll just have to wait till August for first cut now I have been thinking of uh potentially getting uh a uh forage wagon like the one we borrowed uh but we've got the size trailer now so we don't really need to but it is a lot easier to get the grass in so i think we'll just rent it for this year have the size trailer as a backup and then see where we go from there also up here uh, we have the uh, big field of grass that's just been left it's a backup field let's be honest um, not plan I don't plan at all to use it uh, although it was used for two cuts or three cuts last year it's too big of a field to do you know th this is literally this whole field is like three cuts of what we get uh, off that small field if not more uh, it's too much silage really so 
yeah maybe because i haven't been uh obviously i haven't really tried doing silage just that much on this farm because we've been doing the um well we didn't get the keen until about february march time i think it was so we haven't had the keen in long so we haven't really had a need to feed the animals because by the time the keenan came uh they were ready basically to grow out to grass it was just so bad weather we just didn't um i did let them out a bit early to be fair because i thought the weather was going to be good and then it ended up not being good so yeah um also we haven't got another angus uh cow yet we will be soon hopefully uh obviously you might have seen that the south show has been part of the blade just out of the way just because it's not really needing to be used, um, so there's no point in having it in the lower bit of the yard. Uh, we probably will use it for another farmer, hopefully, before uh, before October time, whether that be once or twice, it doesn't matter, as long as it's been used. Uh, I would also like to go to the dealership and see if they have any tally handlers, um, or just to test out one, or see if they know of another dealership in another nearby village that has a tally handler that they could potentially let me demo for like a day or two and see if it's easier to have the Massey because the Massey's still having problems so she's not being able to be used and I kind of need to move the wall uh, so that's why I was trying to talk about getting pallet forks for the skid steer because it'd be a nice little job for it to do but yeah I don't I don't know if that'll happen and maybe it could even feed uh, the sheep a bale maybe uh, but yeah, probably not. Uh, so yeah, so it's hopefully going to get a bit busier now uh, in the vlogs. Um, it's just going to be a constant check up on the wheat and stuff. So yeah, that's it for this one. Bye for now.